everyone, this is Elisa from Anaya's Toolbox Crochet and I'm going to start off by thanking everybody for watching. I really appreciate every one of you, whether you're a subscriber or not, and I really do appreciate my subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, so I want to start off this video, which is a what I've been up to video, with an awkward self promo. So uh, I released two patterns this past week. I have released my Summer Harper pattern. Here she is. I have instructions on how to do her shoes, her romper, her hair, well, everything. In, and the eyes, I used uh, needle felting, but I do have a video on how to embroider eyes. But if you don't want to do that, you could always use safety eyes. This is what she looks like. Uh, she is part of a series of patterns. Um, that's the Harper series. There is a spring Harper, an autumn Harper, and there's a Harper dressed up as a bunny. Uh, all of those are available in both my Etsy and Ravelry store, but if you already have a Harper pattern, you can always go and get just the clothes and the details. Um, I have add-on patterns in my Ravelry store. And so you can add on to, um, I was just moving my light to see if it's better and I think it is. Uh, so you can add on, like if you have the Harper pattern already, you could buy just the clothes of this and make that one a dress up doll or make another Harper, but without have to, having to pay for the doll itself again. So she's available in both my Etsy and Ravelry store. I also released my Fins the Dolphin. Um, I have two versions of it. They're both in the same PDF. This is Fins and, well, they're both Fins. Uh, the difference is this one's belly is done through color change and this one's belly is done with uh, a patch. So you have to sew this on and you do it separately. And I have the both versions in the PDF. The PDF is only available on, um, Ravelry. This is an intermediate pattern, I would say. The fins, you work from the nose to the fin in one piece. And so while it's not hard to do, maybe the explanation, if you're not uh, experienced with this type of parting, might be a little hard. Um, but you know what? If you're a beginner and you want to try it and you need help, please contact me. I will happily make another or show that part to you through it with a video uh anyway so these two well that's one pattern um uh, these two oops these two are now available in my ravelry store and she's also available in my etsy store all right awkward self promo done okay so this week i started this week be deciding that I am going to finish my whips. I have a few whips that I really need to work on. Um, and I decided this is the week that I'm going to focus on whips and not start anything new. It failed. I did not do that. But let me just show you. I do have to make baskets. Uh, I'm making them because I'm going to be going on a vacation next week and I'm going to be visiting a couple of houses and I wanted to be able to give them something that I made. So I'm going to two places. So I'm going to have two baskets made. So this is one. I finished it. I still have to weave in this, but other than that, it's finished. Um, and I started the other one, which I'll show you in my whip section. Um, you Normally, I make these uh, baskets with scrap yarn. Scrap yarn, in case you don't know, is yarn when you have so little yarn that you cannot start an amigurumi product, project. So up to here, I used scrap yarn all the way throughout. And over here, I started working with working yarn. Working yarn is skeins that have already been used, but you can start an amigurumi project with it. And you know, you most likely have enough to finish. So I finished that one. The next one I worked on was the Dritten. I finished him uh, or her. This is a Dritten, which is a, dr a kitten that is also a dragon, a dragon kitten. Uh, this is gonna go to my daughter for her birthday. Uh, her birthday is on Thursday. She's already seen it. She knows it's there and she knows it's coming. It's hard to work on anything when you're living with them. <laughs> and they can see you making it. 
So it's never going to be a surprise. But that's what I'm what I made. That's going to be for her birthday. I'm making two things for her birthday. But that is one of them. It's done. Uh, and I'm happy that it's done. The second thing I finished was this doll. This is a doll. Ooh, moving the light there means I have so much glare I can't see my screen properly. Okay, this doll is from the Fami Gurumi pattern. I believe I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not sure though. Uh, the doll itself, like if you buy it, is a body only. Like there's no clothes with it. You buy the clothes separate. And I didn't buy the clothes. I made up my own clothes. Um, if you guys are planning to buy this pattern, uh, I have to warn you that I don't think English is her first language, so it's not the clearest of pattern, particularly here where you're attaching the arms. Um, I knew what I was doing. I, I know how to make dolls and I know what was happening. But um, even knowing what I was doing, I kept reading the pattern again and even though I knew what I was going to do, I looked at the pattern anyways and I read it a couple times and it made no sense to me. Of course, it didn't stop me because I know what I'm doing, but it might stop you guys. So I would say don't use her pattern as your first doll pattern. That's that's it. Yeah. So I made up the clothes. This was supposed to be my Spook Your Spring, uh, Spook Your Spring Halloween mal entry um it's a mal that was hosted by carrie penny from a uh, happy crafty homemaker and so she's a vampire and you could see her little teeth there i'm not sure if i like the teeth um i wasn't able to finish it in time i didn't even enter it as a whip i just didn't do anything with it it's just there so i have her little vampire teeth um my inspiration picture was black and white dress and it looked much 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 more goth but I really loved this purple yarn and I really wanted to use it and I felt it would be good with this pattern. So I went ahead and used it with this pattern. And this is what I made. This is my vampire doll. I don't have a name for her yet. Uh, but she's the fam. I, I don't know if I will name her. She is the fami groomy pattern. For anyone who's interested in the body, the clothes are all my own clothes. If you do like the hat, and you, okay, I'm going to sell for a self promo right now. If you do like the hat, I do have a pattern, a Madison pattern, which is a difficult, uh, it's an advanced doll pattern. But uh, in the clothes, I do have a hat like that in one of the outfits. But anyways, uh, I finished this one right here, the Dritten, and then I was supposed to start working on the Fami Gurumi one, which is that, and I did manage to finish her, but instead, I started working on this Yardy Bee. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, I started working on this bee. This is called Mia the Bee. The pattern will be linked below. All of the patterns will be linked below, and um, yeah, I started working on it. It was fun. She was quick. Uh, I like her. She's really, really cute, and I just, you know, they're working on her. Oopses! She doesn't want to stand up. All right. How about if we do go like this? All right. Just keep her like that. As long as she's standing a little bit, right? So I made this little bee. Uh, her pattern's name is Mia the Bee. She is a free pattern on... Um, uh on Ravelry and like I said it'll be linked below. Um so summer is here, school is officially over. Um my kids had their last day of school on Friday and uh so today so I decided I'm gonna make these flying discs. I made three of them. Uh this is a Jada and Stitches pattern and I made a purple one which I no longer have because I you know gave it to somebody and I made this one for my children so they could play with it my son really wanted an orange one and so I made this they really do fly like a frisbee uh, I've tried it out <laughs> and they work and I made this one as a gift uh, to you know the people we're gonna be visiting next week I'll put it in the basket with a couple of other things when I go to her house uh, the one with kids anyways and so I made these two and a third one I have already gifted. These are, these are really quick to make. They're really, really easy. And seriously, I made them 
today, yesterday, sitting in the playground while my kids were playing in the sprinklers. Uh, I made both of them pretty much. I was almost finished with the pink one. Um, so that was quick. The reason I chose to take that was because I wanted something that I didn't have to take a whole bunch of stuff. Like with amigurumi, you have to take the stuffing. You you know, if you're doing, I would never take it if I have to put safety eyes in it. I would always not take do the head part outside. But you do have to take stuffing. You have to take multiple skeins of yarn, which, yes, I did. But they were like working yarn, scrap yarn. The orange was definitely scrap yarn. Um, so... I decided I was just going to take that and just work on that in the park instead of taking all the little pieces I would have to for any amigurumi project. Uh, I have not started a new amigurumi project since finishing this little bee uh, because I really need to start working on that dragon. Yep, I need to start working on that dragon. I will, I hope, soon. Um, yeah. So last night, I started working on my second basket. I did get some whips. Uh, sorry, I did get some scrap yarn uh, since making that basket because from the flying disc. So this was the purple I used on the first flying disc. And the pink that's from that flying disc, I used those. And right now I am using, this is the green and the brown pink and yellow yeah brown pink and yellow that I was working with at the end of this one this one's base color was white the base color is um when I make these baskets I have one skein of a neutral color this one is gray and I just work it up with that color so it's going to be throughout the entire basket it gives it continuity even though oh Whoops, 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 whoops. Even though um, the color is going to change a whole lot, it gives it some sort of continuity if I have a base color. Uh, hold on one sec. Sorry about that. Uh, I got a phone call from Canada that I just didn't want to ignore. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, I think I was showing you this basket. Uh, this basket... Uh, is using working yarn most more or less. I don't know how long it'll take to fit how many skeins I'll need I have a bunch um, It's fun to make these baskets. I like making them and I like how they work up and When I'm using scrap yarn, they're kind of like a trip down memory lane because I recently made those projects And I could say oh, I remember making that and oh, I remember making that This one is not so much a trip down memory lane because I used the yellow who knows when for who knows what project and you know it's not so much a trip down memory lane. But anyways, it's still fun to make. I enjoy it. And I like making it. And I think it's perfect to make sure my yarn doesn't go to waste. So, like I said, I'm not sure what I was talking about. But I've also made, decided to make... I'll give it to her on her birthday, even though it's not really meant to be a birthday present. Um, I'm making fingerless gloves again. Um, my daughter wears them all the time. It is now 90 degrees outside. I kid you not, my child is wearing fingerless gloves. Um, so I made these using a really, it's uh, weight three yarn, decay weight yarn. And I used it you, um, using a really big hook. I think I'm using a seven millimeter hook. So it's got more of a holes on it. So at least she gets some air. While she's wearing it because seriously 90 degrees and she's wearing fingerless gloves I finished one and I am working on the second uh, yeah this is what I'm wearing using and I'm using for the first time oh is it for the first time yes I think so for the first time I'm using this hook which is absolutely beautiful now Furls uh, hooks, using it does not come naturally to me, meaning like if I pick up a uh, clover hook, I don't need to adjust to the clover hook. I don't need to kind of practice using it to get to the hook to work for me. I just pick it up and it's just seamless. Uh, these furls though, uh, I need to adjust to it. They're not seamless, but they're so pretty 
they're worth it. They're worth waiting to adjust. Just to use this pretty stuff. And I have to tell you, if the if I could get like the clover hook up here and the furls like width over here, like the bottom of this part, I would have the perfect hook because I love the feel of the furls in my hands. I've tried um I've tried buying clover hooks uh with um What's it called again? You know those clay, uh, what is it called? You know, on the bottom, the poly, I forget what it's called, but that type of clay, I'm gonna put it down below when I remember. Uh, the clay to make the uh, hook thicker and that uh, to give it a nice handle, but I crochet so tight that even though they're comfortable, I end up cracking the clay uh, after, you know, a few uses. So it's not worth it for me to get one of those. I would rather just, you know, buy the clover hooks, the clover amour hooks, use those until they start getting slippery and then just buy another one. It's cheaper for me to do that than spending a whole lot of money on um, one of those clays that are absolutely beautiful. And after using it for like three months, they're starting to crack. So uh, yeah, I have the frills hook and they're pretty. I have to adjust to it. But that's, I think that's it. Oh, no, one more thing. I have one more whip that I'm working on. I'm going slow with that, but I think I'm going to um, concentrate on this more. I didn't get much done. The last time you saw it, I was here, and I've gotten a few more rows done. And the main reason I haven't gotten much done is because um, I'm working on it to fit my son. So I have to put it over him to see, did I get, did I work up enough in rows yet? Is it fitting right on the shoulder? I'm like putting it on him every once in a while. And until recently, he's been in school during the day, so it was a little harder to do. And then another time I crochet is during the night when he's asleep. And so it's been a little harder to adjust it, but hopefully soon. I think I, I need to do one or two more rounds like this. And once I get that, I can make armholes. And once I got the armholes done, I'll be able to finish it really quickly because I won't need to try it on him constantly. Um, but anyways, hopefully this one will be finished. Like next time I show you everything, this one will be one of my uh, FOs. I'll put it on a hanger and put it in the back so you guys could see it really, really well. Uh, I'm happy with how that one's turning out. Uh, it's not giving me the problems that it was giving me last time I tried to make it. And so I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I'm happy, happy, happy. Uh, anyways, I really shouldn't be telling you about the dragon, but I will tell you, I will. Be, I have no other amigurumi on my hook at the moment, except for that dragon. I am not going to be foolish enough to promise that I'm not going to do any more because that would be like crazy silly of me because I'll probably pick up another amigurumi before I finish that dragon is those slip stitches. Those slip stitches. Oh, did I move the camera a little bit while I was on the phone? Okay, well, whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it. That's all I've been working on. And I want to talk about something really quickly. So I am hovering near 600 subscribers. I have never had a giveaway. And I will tell you why I've never had a giveaway. I've never had a giveaway because um, I grew up in Quebec. And in Quebec, like they have, you know, those sweepstakes they had with your, you know, you buy Kool-Aid and they offer sweepstakes or you get yogurt. You know, when we were kids, there were a bunch of those things. And every single one of them said, open to residents of the United States and Canada and in the little bit the small small fine print it says except for Quebec residents and I grew up in Montreal and I'm a Quebec resident or I was at that point a Quebec resident and so the sweepstakes were never ever opened for me and I absolutely hated that and so here I am thinking about doing giveaways and I absolutely hate having to put those fine lines in anything, like those small prints. Whoops. 
So um, I thought about it. How can I do a giveaway and still have it available to international people? Hello, I'm back. Uh, so I was watching my video. <coughs> Excuse me. I was watching my video and I really did not like how I presented the giveaway. So I'm going to redo it. So um, I was just telling you about how when I was growing up, there was always a little fine print saying this sweepstake is not available to residents of Quebec. And I do not want to be someone who's doing a fine print for any of my giveaways. Does that mean that I'll always be able to include everyone in my giveaway? I might have to come up with an alternative, like giving a gift card or something. But for right now, my first giveaway, I wanted it to be all inclusive. So one of the reasons why it took me so long to do a giveaway is just trying to figure out in my head what I'd be able to do. I recently sent a package to Israel. It was a monster, uh, my monster amigurumi pattern. Uh, not pattern, but I actually made it and sent it to her. She wanted in our gifts of love and it cost quite a bit. So I have to do a small package. I don't know if I'm repeating myself, I might be. I have to do a small package, so I have decided I am not going to give away yarn, but I will give away this doll right here. Um, this one is the doll, I mean, I just talked about it. It's made with cotton yarn, except for the hair. The hair is acrylic. Uh, mostly, it's it's a mixture. Um, I have some paint box in here. I have some mystery, the black yarn. I don't remember where I got it from. Uh, I have La Mia, Mercerized Cotton is the gray color. The purple is uh, G, I can never remember the name. The Pima Cotton. I'm just going to, I have a hank of it here. So I'm just going to go get it and tell you. Uh, Cloudborn. I'm like Dreamborn. Is it Dreamborn? No, I'm sorry. I had to walk in front of the light. So Cloudborn Pima Cotton is the purple. So all of it is made in... Uh, cotton except for the hair. The hair is made out of paint box, Simply DK. And uh, the scarf is made out of Caron um, Skinny Cakes. All right. So that's what she's made out of. Uh, I did work on her on for months. It, it took a few months to make. Uh, not because, uh, mostly because I wasn't constantly working on it. I worked on her for a little bit, quite a bit. Her eyes are embroidered, which takes quite a while. And I hope, I really hope that you appreciate this type of giveaway. I understand most people want yarn as a giveaway. And um, if you would rather see me giving away yarn rather than a make, please let me know in the comments. I am perfectly willing to do that and perfectly willing to listen to you guys. And I am a little nervous about how everyone's going to respond to this giveaway just because it is not yarn it is a doll uh i am going to ship it internationally and i will mark it as a gift uh if you win it uh i will mark it as a gift i will ship it internationally um what else was i going to say okay so the giveaway will run from today which is june 28th i believe or june 29th uh, until or whenever i upload this video um I'm going to be going out soon, so I don't know when I'm going to upload it. It might be June 30th. By the time I upload it, it's going to run for about a week. So on June 7th, I will pick a giveaway winner. I will either download, figure out the random comment picker, or I will put you guys, all your names in a jar and pull a, pull a name. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. It's going to run till June 7th. I will try to have it shipped out. Uh, I just want to have it out of my head before I go on vacation. I'm going on vacation on the 9th. So I will probably ship it out after I come back. But I just wanted to let you know that it's running till the 7th. Uh, this is not a sponsored by anyone. I bought every yarn that I used on this doll. And I worked on the doll by myself. Um, I bought the pattern myself. There's no part of it that came to me from anywhere else. 
Uh, I will also include, if you want, you don't have to have this, but if you like amigurumi and you want to make an amigurumi, I will include a pattern of your choice from my Ravelry store. So the, the prize will be this doll and a pattern of your choice from my Ravelry store. It's going to run from whenever this uh, video comes up, which to, right now it's June 29th. So whenever this video is uploaded, it's probably going to be the 30th before it's uploaded, to be honest, because I have to go out soon and I don't know when I'll get a chance to make something, uh, to upload it and finish editing it. So it's going to run from today, June 29th or June 30th, up till the 7th. And uh, all you have to do is comment below and be a subscriber because this really is a thank you to my subscribers. Um, it really is. I appreciate every single one of you. I have almost 600 subscribers. This is not for any milestone. I'm not doing a milestone giveaway. I've always find that very... I don't do milestones. Um, this is random. I did not celebrate my first year in YouTube. And this is just a random giveaway. That's what it is. It's my first giveaway. I'm doing just the doll because I feel like just the doll will be easier to ship. But if you... If you want more yarn in future giveaways, please let me know in the comments and I will see what I can do. I still don't know what I could do in future giveaways. Um, it's not sponsored by YouTube or anyone else. What else do I need to say? Um, I didn't, I will ship it internationally, but any fees that come after I ship it, if there's any customs fees or any other type of fees that I don't know about, you will be responsible for those fees. Um, I will do a drawing on the 7th or the 8th. Give me a minute, give me a day or so. Uh, just because, you know, I have my kids home and I'm not a super organized person. Uh, but give me a day or so. I will draw it then, let you know, and I will ship it as soon as I can, which means that if I could ship it the next day, I will. If not, then after I come back from my vacation. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I am a little nervous about this giveaway because it is a little different than most giveaways are and I hope you like the giveaway. Um, I really do appreciate you guys and I hope you enjoy this giveaway. Uh, anyways, if you like my video, please give it a like. I'm rambling on. You know, I, I just totally deleted the video of where I'm doing the giveaway because I can't felt like I was rambling too much. I'm redoing it with less rambling and yet I am still rambling. So anyways, I hope you like this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to hear more from me, subscribe. And if you do want to join the giveaway, I do need to be able to see that you're subscribed to me. So if you have a private subscriber list, uh, can you make it public for a couple of days? Just, you know, so I could just double check that you're a subscriber. Anyways, that's it. I'm not going to add any more to this video and start rambling on. You know, I ramble when I'm nervous and I think that's what it is. I'm nervous about this giveaway. I hope you like it. Uh, anyways, see you next time. Bye.